It's officially that time of the year where we can indulge and I thought of sharing with you three sweets with slightly healthier ingredients so that we can balance our mithai plate. Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and your Diwali prep is in full swing. In this video, I'm sharing with you three slightly healthier mithais. Now, why I'm saying healthier is that these recipes don't involve any deep frying, which is very, very common for Indian mithais. And they can be made with jaggery or gourd instead of processed sugar. So if you're trying to cut down on sugar, then there is an option for that as well. And they also use wholesome, nutritious ingredients. There's going to be a nutritious halwa made from ragi some good til chikki to keep you warm during weather change and this beautiful looking and tasting dry fruit gulkan barfi which by the way doesn't have any added sugar so let's go ahead and start with my favorite which is this one dry fruit gulkan barfi i've taken one bowl of figs or anjeer and one bowl of dates or khajoor and i'm de-seeding them and i will be soaking them in hot water for about 15 minutes this will help them soften up and we need to grind this into a paste so that it will make that process easier. While these soak, I will take 1 third cup almonds, cashews, walnuts and pista each and grind them to a powder like this. And in the same blender, I will now add the soaked figs and dates and with a little bit of water, grind them to a paste-like consistency. It doesn't have to be completely liquid. Just a paste is fine. This can take a little bit of time, so just be patient. Now I'm heating ghee and this is about one tablespoon. And once it's heated up, I'm adding the figs and the dates paste in it and cooking it in with the ghee for about 15 minutes. Dates are your best bet in making anything sugar-free. They're naturally sweet and can enhance the flavor of any sweet dish. And figs too taste amazing in mithais. Once the paste is cooked, add the dry fruit powder mix and add it in batches. So this is about half of it. I'm mixing it up and then I'm adding the rest along with gulkand. And this is the leaf and nectar gulkand, my absolute favorite. I'll leave an Amazon link for it in the description box in case you want to try it out. And I'm adding about 3 tablespoons of gulkand to this. But if you don't like the flavor of gulkand that much, then you can just add 1 spoon. It totally depends on you. And once it's added, just mix everything well. It'll feel slightly dry and that's fine. Then grease a dabba or a bowl and put this mixture in and let it cool down to room temperature. You can even it out with a spoon like this and once it's down to room temperature, we garnish it. I'm using powdered coconut, chopped pista, elaichi or cardamom powder and a few rose petals, actually a lot of rose petals. This step is honestly optional but you can enjoy it even without garnishing or you can use whatever you like on top. So here I am just going all out and beautifying this and I think pista and rose petals can instantly make any sweet dish appear so much more prettier and even delicious. Let me know in the comments below if you feel the same way. And since this is a lot of topping, I'm just pushing it in lightly with a spoon so that it fixes nicely and you know doesn't move or fall off. And then this goes in the fridge for like 3 to 4 hours to set properly. And then you can cut and serve. Now I like this slightly uh, soft consistency, not like a hard block. But if you want it more dry and more harder, then add more powdered nuts while making it. And I am just in awe of how beautiful this looks. Very honestly telling you, it took me a while to appreciate anjeer in mithais and barfis. And for the longest time, I didn't like it. Then there was this one time I tried a kaju pista anjeer roll and I was like, wow, this is good. And this is like the first ever anjeer based mithai that I've made at home. But I'm so happy with the way it's turned out. I know it because I've already eaten too many pieces of it. Mmm. This is so good. There's just so much of flavor in this. There's that nice rosy flavor from the gulkand. And of course, anjeer has its very prominent taste. 
then the sweetness from the dates and all the nuts even though they were quite a smooth powder you can still feel them in bits and pieces and the toppings with that little bit of coconut pista rose petals mm wow and the rose petals just make the mithai look so beautiful and another ingredient that really helps in beautifying mithais with that hint of flavor is poppy seeds and that's what i've used in my ragi halwa this is a really simple yet soul satisfying sweet dish and also so nutritious just heat ghee start with a generous tablespoon and add the ragi flour in roast it in ghee for a bit and then add more ghee as you feel right don't add all of it in one go but depending on how dry it feels keep adding it in after a while you will get that cooked flour aroma of sorts and you'll also notice the halwa is bubbling make sure it's on a low flame and add sugar as you need you can also add jaggery or gourd instead of sugar and i recommend adding a bit of cardamom or elaichi powder as well for added flavor then just pour in hot water and this helps the halwa cook completely it lets the sugar melt and makes it all come together so don't add too much but even if you do then don't worry it will get absorbed stir it well for a few minutes and then serve it in a bowl ragi is gluten free by itself and so is ghee and ragi is a super nutritious millet you should seriously look up the benefits of having it and i'm trying my level best to include it more and more in my everyday diet as well and this here is not just mithai but a bowl of goodness i'm topping this with poppy seeds they're the perfect addition to a halwa or sheera especially when it's of a contrasting color they add a little something in it but not that much of flavor but they do enhance the feel of the dish and here you can see how simple and elegant this bowl of goodness looks you can also add chopped nuts on this raisins whatever you like if you want a richer feel to this halwa then i'd suggest adding some milk in it and maybe even some fresh cream that'll make it all the more creamier but even without it just with ghee and warm water this does turn out great so this is halwa in such a simple humble form and it's yet so delicious another really really simple sweet dish which i love especially for the upcoming weather change and winters is chikki and if you're making til chikki with gourd then it's like the best combination that you can have take til or sesame seeds as many as you like for the amount of chikki you want to make and at first just dry roast them no ghee no oil at this point but just ensuring that they get that roast to activate their flavor and light aroma Ayurveda stresses on including sesame in winter diet and it's true it works wonders for the hair the skin it contains healthy fats boosts bone health and so much more and this along with jaggery or gourd is a match made in heaven i keep the proportion of sesame and jaggery equal in my chikki so for 1 cup of sesame seeds i'll use 1 cup of jaggery so these are the only ingredients needed in this chikki apart from ghee Once you've heated ghee add all the jaggery this is powder jaggery it's easier to melt and this is also unpolished so it's darker in color keep it on a low flame and stir it else it might get burnt and after a few minutes you will see it melting once it's completely melted and kind of bubbling we add the sesame seeds and then just mix them and you will see it coming together like this Then take any flat surface a plate a chakla anything you are comfortable with and put butter paper on top and drop the hot chikki mixture and then just spread it out on the butter paper as thin or as thick as you like and then with the help of a rolling pin roll it out you have to do this while it's still a bit warm and then let it cool down under the fan for a few minutes and cut it up into squares as you like and the chikki is ready i don't like it too thick so this is how i keep the chikki and i also made another batch of til patti which is an even thinner version so roll it out thinner and this is how thin it is the color is different because i used a different brand of jaggery here since the previous one was over and til chikki or til patti or sesame energy bars if you please they look lovely by themselves and i think are perfect for not just diwali but all of the upcoming winter months 
do let me know in the comments if you like til chikki as much as i do because i just can't get enough of it i've made so many batches in the last few days and every single time my husband and i have relished them also do let me know which of these recipes are you going to be trying out this diwali make sure you let me know in the comments below i'll be waiting to read what you want to try and also let me know which are your favorite diwali mithais if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button Share this video with your friends and family who are looking for slightly healthier sweets to indulge in during this Diwali and subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so that you know the next time I'm uploading another video in this series and that is really it from me I'll see you in my next one bye